Hello, welcome back. I'm Divine Lee Destin. Welcome back to another reading. This is going to be a general collective message read for the beautiful zodiac sign of the Virgin. Hey guys, how are you? I pray that you guys are having a great day, Virgo. If you are new to the channel, please like the reading, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for all the love and support that you have shown me throughout the year, throughout this journey. Virgo, you know, we're all in this thing together, you know, Virgo, remember, if nobody told you today that they love you, I love you. Your ancestral team loves you. You are fully, fully, fully loved, fully supported, fully backed by God, his universe, his angels, his archangels, your ancestors, okay? Your spiritual team, your spiritual community, your spiritual family. I'm hearing your soul family. Go dig into your birth chart if you got some time this holiday season, Virgo. Go dig into your ancestral history. See how deep those roots run, Virgo. If you want to book me for a personal reading, closing out the year, let me know. I'm available, beautiful souls. You want to know what's going on? You really want to get real, real deep? Book me for a private reading. All these messages are general, Virgo. So, you know, just take what you need from the reading. But I believe... Just by you simply being here, you were meant to see something from this, okay? All messages are general. Now, if you got your sun, your moon, Venus, rising, North Node, and Virgo, this reading may be for you. If you don't know where your Venus is, you don't know where your North Node is, you don't know where your rising is, go dig into your birth chart. It will give you all that information. Virgo, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah. I'm going to go ahead and start your reading with some angel numbers. Okay, I'm hearing that song by Anita Baker. You're my angel. Okay, Virgo, somebody sees you as their angel. Okay, this person that sees you as their angel, they may be a Sagittarius. They may be a Gemini. It may be a Leo. This person says you're my angel. Okay, this could also indicate your mother, your dad. Okay, your son, your daughter. Okay, your co-worker, your friend. You have came through, Virgo. You came through when they needed you the most. You were like that angel God sent from above just for them. And they want you to know they appreciate it, Virgo. Okay, Archangel Michael, he's with us. Archangel Chamiel, he's with us. Archangel Uriel, he's with us. Archangel Orion, you know, Archangel Orion, he helps manifest miracles in our world. He is with us. Archangel Megatron, he helps clear that energy, honey. You know, he helps... Keep all that dirty, yucky energy out. You know, if it comes in, you know what? Call on him. He'll help you get rid of it. Pray. Virgo. Yes, Archangel Michael. Can I get an angel number for the beautiful zodiac sign of Virgo? What is imperative that they should know today? Ooh, you're my angel, Virgo. Somebody wants you to know that very, very strongly here. We got angel number 19. Yes, Virgo. Angel number 19. Your archangels your ancestral team. They want you to know that they recognize your independence and your self-sufficiency. These are very necessary for the virgin. You are very capable in life, honey, and in your work. And you're not afraid, Virgo. Virgos are never afraid to take charge of any anything related to work. Virgos make great leaders, you know, in any field that they choose to explore or be a part of. You know what? Because you're not afraid to take risks that are necessary, you will achieve your objectives in life, Virgo. And you know what your angels want you to know. You are a pioneer. You're not afraid to go after what you want, especially in terms of your career, Virgo. Ooh, we got angel number 14. 14 broken down is angel number 5, okay? 5 represents change. Angel number 19 broken down is a 1, okay? 1 represents new beginnings, Okay, one represents new beginnings, Virgo, but one also represents you being a natural born leader. You're a, you're a natural born leader, Virgo. It's in you. Okay, you're very open minded and your angels want you to know that they see that you're open minded. You're always up to something new, especially when it's when it when it involves going after your career. Excuse me. Your goals, your aspirations. Virgos are not afraid Virgos are not afraid to get in there and take charge and make things happen for themselves. But you know what? Virgos are also very, very wise. They're wise enough to know when something is not right, when something don't feel right. And they're going to always think about it before they jump into anything. 
Okay, this is the Virgo. This is the Virgo's way. They're gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna thank and they're gonna pray. They're gonna ask for guidance before they leap into any situation, especially when it comes to their career or their goals, their aspirations. Okay, you're very, very, very helpful in the career. Okay, you're very, very helpful in your job, Virgo. The, the working world needs Virgo. Virgos reach mass. They reach mass success on all levels. Okay, they reach the top. They reach the top, baby. And you don't mind helping other people, Virgo. You don't mind helping other people get to the top as well. This is why you continue to rise. We got angel number four, okay? Wow. You may be the fourth child, okay? Four of six. You're, you're, you're the fourth one, Virgo. I see angel number 14, angel number four, angel number 19. Yes, you may be connected to a Capricorn, you may be connected to a Taurus. You may be connected to an Aries. You know what, Virgo? Your angels, your ancestors, they want you to know you bring stability, honey, and rationality to any situation. Virgo going to bring that level head. They're going to bring that stability because they're grounded. They're earth sign. Virgos are rooted in the earth energy, okay? They're solid, okay? They're a solid foundation for others. This is what they do best. And your angels want you to know they recognize your stability and your rationality. You are that rock, honey. You are that rock. They can't make it without you, Virgo. Your team, they can't flourish or really thrive without the virgin in any job, okay? Even in your family life, Virgo, you are the rock here. You work hard, you persevere, and you're very dependable. You're a very, very dependable friend, a life partner, or a colleague. And your angels want you to know they recognize your stability, Virgo. They recognize your stability, honey. These are some beautiful messages for the beautiful zodiac sign of Virgo. So Virgo, closing out closing out the year, honey. Go research number angel number 14. Angel number 14, angel number 4, angel number 19. You know, angel number 44 represents in imminent imminent abundance. There's some sort of financial increase coming in. You on the brink of it, Virgo. It's here. You've worked hard. There's been some challenges to your financial sector this year. But you're on the brink of something very great here in terms of your financial sector. Virgo, okay? I want to take some more messages from the angels for you today. We started out with some angel numbers. So let's get some angel messages. What more? What more? Okay, what are some more messages to the beautiful ancestors and angels of the highest white light and authority want to let the beautiful virgins know today? Don't forget, Virgo, to be assertive. Be assertive, okay? Don't be afraid. And Virgos naturally are not afraid to go after their goals. But when it comes to their lovers, their family, they may they may struggle a little bit with being assertive. Your angels are saying, don't be afraid to be assertive. Be assertive. You're ready, Virgo. If you have any doubts about whether or not you're ready for something, your angels are saying, here you go. This is your confirmation. Yes, you're ready, baby. You're ready for that management position. You're ready to start your own company. You're ready for that new job, okay? You're ready for wealth. You're ready for that lucrative career. You're ready for that spiritual growth. You have developed quite a bit spiritually. You're ready for that love. You're ready for that new promotion. You're ready for that new that new key to your new home, that new key to your new house. You're ready, baby. Be assertive. Chase those goals. Chase them. And don't be afraid to go after things that you, you may think, okay, well, this is way out of my league. I can't do this. But if you feel that in your heart, soul, and spirit, Virgo, that it's something you're called to do, you're getting, you're getting, you're getting the green light to go ahead and go after it. Okay. Never be afraid to ask help. Okay. Virgo, something is on hold right now. Your angels say, wait. For some of you other Virgos, you're being called to hold off, hold off a little bit longer for something. Okay. Only you know what the answer to that is. If you don't know what that is for you, pray about it. But something is a wait here. Okay. Just give it a little bit more time for it to be fully developed. For some of you other Virgos, your angels are saying, yes, baby, you're ready. Go for it. Be more assertive, okay? Wow. For some of you Virgos, I feel like the angels the angels are saying, you have to work on your assertiveness, okay? This is something you're going to have to work on before you can fully, fully go after a certain thing here, okay? Meditation. Meditate and pray. This is going to help you become more aware of the steps that you need to take. Virgo, don't forget to pray, Okay? Success. You're ready. I spoke about it. Virgos know how to reach the top. They they are born to reach the top. Okay. Some of the most successful people in the world are Virgos. 
Beyonce, Virgo, Michael Jackson, Virgo, Kobe Bryant, you know, Kobe Bryant, God rest his soul, was a Virgo. He hated, he despised people that were lazy, you know, Kobe Bryant didn't stand for that. That's the Virgo mentality. And I share the same birthday as Kobe Bryant, so I feel very proud here. Yes, he did not believe in laziness. He did not believe in giving crappy performance. You know, they didn't call him the GOAT. You know, some people believe Kobe Bryant is the greatest of all time. He didn't get that for nothing. He worked his ass off to accomplish that, okay? Yes, Virgos will reach the top. Look at some of the greatest Virgos. Adam Sandler, he's a Virgo. He's a, com he's a comedian. He's very funny. He's one of the best that's ever done it. You know what I'm saying? Virgos, Virgos may not necessarily always show their sense of humor because Virgo is serious, but they have a fun side. They have a funny side. They will make you laugh until your stomach hurt. Okay, this is their gift. Okay, peace. Always strive to have peace in your life, Virgo. Always pray and ask God to bring peaceful resolutions to your life because he will. Okay, Virgo, he will. You're ready, honey. You're ready. And I'm also hearing get ready. For the ones... For the ones that are being called to wait, you're being called to take this time while you're in this waiting period to get ready here. Okay, get ready. Meditate, pray. Ask God, ask your ancestral team how you can be more successful, how you can have more peaceful resolutions in your life. Okay, ask your ancestral team what you need to avoid in the year 2022. What type of people you need to be on the lookout for to stay clear from in the year 2022, Virgo. Archangel Michael, can I get more messages for the beautiful virgin? Okay, we got a wild woman. Ooh, we Virgo, you've been wild this year. Okay, have your fun, Virgo. But also, your angels are saying, slow down here, closing out the year, hone that in. You know, you've been you've been partying a lot. <laughs> you've been living your best life. Take the rest of the year. Take some time to meditate and pray and ask for God. Is moving forward. Moving forward, I'm, I'm definitely picking up on the energies with this wild woman that Virgo just can't be tamed, okay? There's just a part of Virgo that can't be tamed. They're self-sufficient, independent, self-reliable individuals. If they have you in their life, it's simply because Virgo sees you as somebody that they care for. They don't need you. Much like Aquarius, Virgos don't need you. They could be single forever, okay? So if they have someone in their life, that's just simply because... They see you as somebody they love, okay? Appreciate the virgins in your life, okay? Because you ain't there, okay? If you're watching this reading, you're a cross-watcher, and you think, oh, Virgo just pick anybody, think again. Consider yourself to be lucky, okay? Very lucky. What else is going on for these beautiful virgins? The beloved. This is, this is the esteem that you're in, Virgo. This is the level that you're on. You're the beloved. You're the anchor. Your angels already let you know that you are the rock for many, many people, many, many companies, many, many associates. You are that rock for the world. Virgos are born to help and be of service to humanity. No doubt. You're called the beloved, Virgo. This is a high honor to be called the beloved. Yes, you're like the matriarch. Even if you aren't like a grandmother or a mother, but you are. You have it in you, okay? You have it in you. You have the ability... Virgo can come off as wild and crazy, goofy, but they also could be very serious, very earthy, very humble, very wise, very humanitarian, okay? Virgo, you are the beloved. You are the beloved. Pay attention to the hummingbird. He's your spiritual animal closing out this year. The hummingbird. You may be someone that struggles with physical disabilities, Virgo. You may have eye issues, okay? You may struggle with hearing difficulties, what, okay, I'm definitely hearing when one sense is, okay, say you're deaf, Virgo. I, I feel like your vision is stronger than ever. So you're being called to listen and pay attention more with your spiritual eyes when you see the hummingbird. And for me, as intuitively reading this message, I feel like the hummingbird represents listening with your spiritual ears, paying attention with your spiritual eyes, Virgo. Mm. Yes, your mother, she may have passed away at the age of 62. You may have even been 19 years old when she passed away. You may have even been 26 years old when your dad died. It may have been five years since you lost a parent, Virgo. Yes, your ancestors are here. They're, they're asking you to light a candle. Light a candle today in remembrance to them. Give them thanks, Virgo. They look out for you. They watch out for you. They, they are backing you 1,020 billion percent, Virgo. Okay, 
Give your ancestors thanks, honey. They're here. Wow, we got the ace of air. You have brilliant ideas, Virgo. You may have some ideas that you're keeping very, very close to your chest at this time and closing out the year that's very, very well advisable. Remember, your ancestors, for some of you, Virgos, your angels' ancestors already told you to wait, okay? Keep those brilliant ideas to yourself, okay? Until, until certain doors open for these things to be manifested into your reality. But we do see Virgo has brilliant new ideas. You guys are the beloved. You're inspiration to a lot of people, Virgo. You may not see it, but you are. Someone is always praying for you, Virgo, okay? Also, you're being called to see the truth of any situation, Virgo. Take the blinders off. Sometimes when Virgo loves, they love so hard. They don't want to see no badness in anyone they really, really love. You're being called to see the truth of the situations that at hand right now, Virgo, closing out the year. It may have been a challenging, challenging year for you. It may have been a lot of challenging starts for you in life, but you never gave up. You're the virgin. You're meant to reach levels unknown to just, you know, your Virgo is meant to reach the top, okay? Mere humans can't reach the levels that Virgos can reach, okay? These guys were meant to reach mass levels in life, okay? There's a very, very happy, happy Virgo here that's very content in their family life at this time. You know, you're financially secure. Your family is good. Your material needs are met. You're okay. You know what? Take time this holiday season. You and your family, go give back to a less fortunate family. You know what? Your angels are saying, find magic in everyday little things. You have everything you need. If this is you, Virgo, you're, you're financially stable. You're in a happy, content, contented family. You got everything you need. You're being called to find magic in the little things here. Find magic in the little everyday things. In the everyday, ordinary things here, Virgo. Also, you're being called to give back to a less fortunate family this holiday season. If you have it within your means, go leave a present on someone's door, Virgo. You never know. You may just be saving someone's Christmas. You just may be saving someone's Christmas. Yes, you're very abundant, Virgo. We got the three of fire. Go see what Scorpio is in your chart. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Virgo. Go see what Sagittarius in particular is in your chart. But I see the angels. They want you to know you're very abundant, very successful. You work hard for the things that you want in life. And you work hard to get to where you want to be in life. This is why you reach these levels. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. We see that with weight. Have patience at this time, Virgo. Make your long-term plans here. You're being called to go ahead and make your long-term plans at this time. Yes, there's a desire for some Virgos in the collective to just move on. Okay, you're searching for something more meaningful in your life. More on the spiritual realm. More on, more on the spiritual level for you. Okay, I see that you went through a massive spiritual and emotional growth this year, Virgo. That is beautiful. Okay, we got gifts of money here. Gifts of money, Virgo. Look, we got abundance. We got abundance, Virgo. Gifts of money coming in for all the time, work, dedication you put into making your life and other people's life a success. Other people's life a success. New career opportunities are on the horizon for you, Virgo. You may be receiving a loan at this time to help you pay off some debts, student loans, Okay, car loans, mortgage loans. Okay, I'm hearing all kind of loans. You're going to be getting some sort of money to help you pay off these loans at this time. I'm hearing for the next six months. Keep your eyes open for it, okay? There's definitely gifts of money coming in. These, This may be more clients for work, okay? Whatever you do for work, you may be getting more clients, more work. You may be getting tips, donations, okay? Yes, Virgo, somebody may be gifting your organization here with a gift. This is what I'm seeing. We got the Magician, Virgo energy, Gemini energy. You're ready. This is the second time your angels are, are letting you know. For some Virgos, you're ready, honey. You're ready. You have all the resources or you have the ability to manifest all the resources you need in life. Life is magical. This is two times your angels are calling you to see, to see the magic in life. Excuse me. You're ready, honey. You have everything you need. And you also have the abilities to manifest everything you need. Pay attention to Gemini. Go see what Gemini is in your chart. Okay. Mm. For some other Virgos, your angels, they want you to know. A relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgive this person here. Okay. You may have had some ups and downs in a particular connection with someone this year, Virgo. Your angel said, forgive it. Forgive him. Forgive her. This thing is only going to grow closer and closer. There's going to be a peaceful, positive re resolution. I spoke about that earlier, a peaceful resolution here. 
So if you've been having some conflict with someone this year on an emotional level, you really want this thing to work out, you guys are only going to grow closer and closer. There's going to be an amazing peaceful resolution to this thing. Okay? You got too much going on sometimes, Virgo. Hone that thing in. We see that with wild woman. You may you may wear yourself out by, by being available in situations that, that don't even deserve you or your time or your effort. Your angels are calling you to hone all that energy in. Okay, take back your, your energy from people in situations that just don't deserve it. You know, it's time to make some decisions about some things moving forward, closing out the year. You may need to, you know, find more humor, Virgo. Be more playful. Your angels already let you know two times to find the magic in life, okay? Find something that makes you extremely happy. Live it, honey. Live it. Ooh, Virgo, there's someone new that's coming into your life. For the ones that resonate with this particular portion of the message, you may have been praying to God for a new person. There's a new person entering your life. A relationship begins for some of you. And also, going back to that other, that other one, there's either a relationship coming in or a peaceful resolution, resolution or reconciliation between you and someone else. This is a positive outcome. This is two times your angels are letting you know. And there is a reconciliation on the board for some Virgos and the collective today. Trust your instincts. Trust your intuition. Okay, Virgo, you, you're very, very serious. Okay, but you're also very, very sensitive. You're very, very artistic. And you can be very, very approachable and friendly. Okay, but yes, for some of you Virgos, there's a, there's a peaceful resolution coming in terms of a love connection that you have with someone. Good news about financial matters. This is like four times. This has come out five times. Good news about financial matters, Virgo. Okay, you wanted to do something more challenging. You want to, that's Virgo energy as well. Virgo always strives. Virgo is always striving to go higher and higher and reach higher levels here. You may be having a desire, okay? You may be acting out in some level, on some level, possibly the subconscious realm, Virgo, because you're not being challenged here. There's a desire within you, if this resonates, to be more challenging or to have more challenges in terms of your career, your goals, your aspiration. You may be looking for something to challenge you at this time. Or that's just Virgo's nature. They always want to rise higher and higher. You may be taking up a new study. Okay, excuse me. You may be getting to you may be getting into a new area or a course of study, Virgo, in the year 2022. Closing out your reading, your angels, they want you to know, Virgo, don't you ever give up. Protect that which you're created. Protect that baby, okay? Nourish your craft. Nourish your, your passions, okay? Have courage. Believe in yourself, Virgo. If nobody else don't tell, if nobody else ain't tell you today, Virgo, they love you. If nobody else ain't tell you today that you can do it, your angels are saying, don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage. Believe in yourself, Virgo. You can make it happen. I love you.